Okay, the deep knee bend is an old school variation of the body weight squat with a long and successful track record among athletes and physical culturists. And in this video, I wanna talk about some of its unique benefits and how to use it. But before I get to it, I wanna thank everyone for supporting the channel. You can visit the website for the full course as well as consultations, custom programs, and free programs, and join the free community to learn more about calisthenics. Now the body weight deep knee bend was a staple exercise among some of the greatest physical culturists in the past including George Hackenschmidt, Paul Anderson, Carl Gotch, Charles Atlas, the great Gama, the list goes on and on. And it also has a history among combat athletes, especially Indian wrestlers who were known for doing a variation of this movement for hundreds and even thousands of repetitions in their daily workouts. And unlike regular body weight squats, deep knee bends are done with the heels elevated. And elevating the heels pushes the knees further over the toes and this concentrates the stress in the quads. And this position also loads the connective tissue of the knees to a greater degree, but there's nothing inherently dangerous about this because during this movement, the knees are performing flexion and extension. That's what they're anatomically designed to do. And moving a joint through a full range of motion with an intensity and a volume that you're prepared for is not inherently damaging. Now, remember that connective tissue adapts to training stress as well, and we want to stress connective tissue to make it stronger over time. So it's just about making sure you don't do too much too soon and get injured in the process. So slowly build up to these and they will actually strengthen your knees over time. And just like body weight squats, these are primarily a conditioning exercise. So if you're after maximum strength, a barbell squat is gonna be a significantly better tool for the job. But if you're into things like backpacking, hiking, rucking, road cycling, mountain biking, skiing, running, or any other lower body endurance activity, these can be an absolute game changer. And I generally recommend working up to two to three sets of 50 to 100 repetitions, constant tension style so you don't walk out the top. Do that a few days per week and you'll have a pair of legs that are incredibly resilient and fatigue resistant along with some awesome overall work capacity. And what's cool is the time commitments, only a few minutes per set. Now a lot of people ask about muscle building with this exercise. In general, when your reps get really high, like 50 to 100 repetitions per set, the exercise becomes less effective for muscle building. It can still build muscle for sure, but you need more total sets to get a good growth effect, which means it's gonna be less efficient. I'll attach some articles about some guys who successfully used the deep knee bend to grow some quads, but you'll see the type of volume that they had to do in order to do that. But this movement does have a solid track record for adding size to the quads, but if you're trying to efficiently grow some huge legs, there are way better tools for the job. But overall, these are a very effective and accessible conditioning exercise with an extraordinary track record for building resilient legs that have the capacity to bulletproof your knees and potentially build some quads in the process. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.